MachineTutorials.com. Hey, what's up? This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Just here with a quick overview of what the browsing looks like on the 2.0 and Machine Studio setup. So I'll go into Browse, and you can see you got your different images. I'm going to go all the way over to Projects. So if you want to go between your categories, you got Projects, you got Groups, you got Sounds, Instruments, Effects, and Samples. So let's do uh, Instruments first. So you can see over here you got your like product images, then over here you'll have your results. So right now I'm on all categories and all products. Now if I want to, I can go through and go to a specific category. So let's say I just want my drums and percussion. I can turn the drums and percussion and now it's only showing the drum and percussion instruments. Same with sampled instruments or synthesizers. So if I just want sampled instruments, I have all of those. If I just want my synthesizers, I can show just my synthesizers. Now, you can also go through the individual products. Right now, it's on all products. If I want to go through the individual ones, I can just turn it like that, or I can use my left and right arrow keys to kind of go through. So it just depends on what you want to do. So let's go back up to all categories and all products. You can see it's easy for me to scroll through just using the left and right arrow keys if I want to do that. But let's just say I want to go through individually. I can go through... Let's say I want something out of damage. So now damage is chosen, and now you have all types. So you can either pick from everything that's in there, and it'll show you how many results you have, or you can browse down even deeper. So let's say I want drums, and then now I got subtypes. I can go to cymbals, hi-hats, whatever. Whatever subtypes are in that library, you can do that. And, of course, you can go through, browse them, use this button up here to load. You can also use your jog wheel, which I'm not showing right now, but you can browse through with the jog wheel and actually press the jog wheel down to choose a sample or sound or whatever it is. And the same thing with your effects. If you want to go through your effects, you can go through all categories, all products, or you can just browse, say, if you just want specific products, you can do that. And it's going to show you, let's say if I'm in Absinthe. So, you know, Absinthe is going to have extra banks. So it's going to show up over here. Now I can go through the different banks inside of Absinthe, Absinthe 4, you know, Absinthe 5, whatever. And it's going to be the same like with Contact or any library that has banks. Once you go into that library, you can go into your banks as well. So let's see if we got any other ones. So FM8 has banks as well. And you can go into those. You see FM7 Legacy, the FM8 Factory. You know, you can start browsing that way, or you want to go to Guitar Rig, you can do that. And then now you got types. So for Guitar Rig, you can go into the different types. So you got amp simulators, whatever's in there, delays, all that stuff. Then you can go into subtypes, and they give you different types, multi-type delays. And it's always going to show you how many results you have in that specific, you know, category, that specific filter that you're looking through. And it's going to be the same inside of your samples so if you want to look for specific samples right now i'm looking through all products but i can go to you know battery i can go to content gardens whatever or i can just leave it on all so it's again just depends on how you want to browse and then you can go by type so right now i'm looking at all my samples and then i can go by type so i got ambience effects you know all these different things claps so let's say i got a clap now i got subtypes of my claps analog now i got 23 results of course, you can still do pre here and everything like that. And if you want to browse your own user content, you see a button right here that says user that you can go into and start browsing your user content. So it's pretty easy to get through your browser and it's much more visual when you're looking at it from the studio now. And it definitely coincides with what the browser looks like in the software. But again, really, really quick to get through and browse your stuff. And I like the two screens makes it really easy to go through and drill down and find what you want. And remember, you can do it from up here or you can also browse with the jog wheel, which I'm not showing in this video, but it's pretty much the same. You can browse through with the jog wheel and you can actually press the jog wheel down to select any product or, you know, sound, sample, whatever it is you want to select. So, of course, this is just a quick video. If you got any questions about the browsing or machine, 2.0 Machine Studio. Let me know. This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. I'll see y'all later. Peace.